Chi Amelach Hamashiach. It would only be right if I show you my my friend and companion, Mendy Bas, sitting bus beside me, uh, right here beside me. Nice to meet you, gentlemen. Um, he is my right hand man, and here behind us. Let's put that over there. Right, Mendy, come 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 a little closer. Right behind me, you see the Temple Mount. You see the Har Habayit. The Kaisal Amarovi. I'm in this little cave on the left side. It's a little tiny cave. You'll come and you'll see it's cute. And the reason why we're here is we're Americans. We're not used to the heat over there. <laughs> the heat can drive you crazy. This cave somewhat uh, uh Out of respect for the the holy site, we are wearing our hats and jackets in the heat. We have not come in here with our bathing suits and our t-shirts and our sunglasses. We respect this place and we uh, anticipate that the Rebbe Shlita Malach Mashiach should be revealed. This, in essence, will be the first official uh, Achimedri video um, done by the Kaiser. And we will take this opportunity to speak about a very special topic, which is the three commandments that are applicable in the times of Messiah which we have entered. Um, obviously, <coughs> there's been something in the last 2,000 years that we haven't done, that if we do it, we will progress spiritually as a nation towards Mashiach. Uh, what is this? Three mitzvahs that we did not do, that we could do if we really want to. Um, also see why we could bring Mashiach in my previous video called How the Lubavitch Rebbe is Mashiach HD that will give you an introduction to this video. In any case, we're going to talk about the three mitzvahs that you need to do in order to, to fulfill the Messianic time, the Messianic era. So you have number one, Minui Melech, number two, Binyan Beis Abkhira, number three, you have Echias Amolik. Now, some may say, Mechias Amalek sounds exciting, let's get to work. Or in other words, I feel that Mechias Amalek is something that I want to be involved in. Or somebody can say, I want to be involved in Binyan Beis Abkhira. But Minui Melech is hard. So, the answer to that is, you need to go in order. Why do I need to go in order? Who says? The same person who tells you that these are the three mitzvahs of Yomai Sapashia. Where do we learn about these three commandments? How do we know that this is the order? The Rambam, Maimonides, the only Jewish authority which took 613 laws, set them up exactly each one where the verse is in the Bible, and showed us in a beautiful open platform exactly which mitzvahs are applying in which time. The mitzvahs that are connected to Binyan Beis Abkhira, uh, building the temple, can only be done once you crown a king. And you can only destroy Amalek once you have the building of the temple. This order is not because you cannot do it in a different order. It's because this Order is part of the commandment. That established, we need to crown a king. And we do not need to crown him spiritually, we need to crown him physically. Because unlike other parts of Judaism, which your machshava, your thought, is what counts, even though Emuna and Bias Mashiach is something that is connected to faith, but besides that, there's a mitzvah called Minu Melech. What's the Pasuk in Terah that says that we have to build, that we have to crown a king? We just read it in this uh, last, week. last week's parsha, parsha Shaftim. 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 is a mitzvah de'iraisa to crown a king. You have to be mishtadel. You have to try to make a king in Am Yisrael. Yeah, Mandy, Peanut Gallery would like to add a few words. Mandy would like to say a few things. Yes. Let's finish up the Pasuk. Um, the the commentaries, a mosley alecha. 
that his fear should be upon you. Yes, so fear, your fear is supposed to be of the Jewish king, not of the government, your local government, not of your local government. I'm not trying to mess with anybody or anything, but the point is we have to make a shtadlos, we have to try to make a minimum. Now, I was speaking to my fellow machinist, and they, they came up with a specific problem. I was speaking to my fellow Meshachistim, and they came to me and they told me a specific problem that we have. How can you crown a king in our day and age? You want to crown a king Mashiach? <clears throat> so now there's enough videos that tell people who Mashiach is. Mashiach is the Lubavitcher of it. And that is not for today's discussion. That is already a closed topic. This is not a question that anybody needs to ask. It's video. Everywhere, it's, a no, it's an established fact, it's a known fact, the Rebbe, the Baba Rebbe is Mashiach. Ask anyone. The only people who ask are the people who don't know what to do about it, or the people who are friends of Kairach, which they ask questions not because they know that, that they think that they're right. They ask questions because until you give them an answer, which is never, because they never say that they're happy with your answer, they can forget about it and not listen to the Rebbe Chas and not let Judaism continue. I don't know if they understand how they, how grave what they're doing is. But right now, Judaism halts it by it's standing by this thing that we need to crown a king. In any case, going back to the concept that we started off, first of all, there has to be meaning melech. Practically speaking, we're going to have to speak about location, location, location. If you live in Israel and you would like the Lubavitch Rebbe, the Rebbe of Chabad, to be King Mashiach. And you know that you don't know all the laws. You want to know who to rely on, on this decision. First of all, you have an obligation, you have a mitzvah der to establish a king. You have to know that the Nasi Adar is the king. This that the Rebbe, so to speak, we don't see him. This does not disqualify him, according to Jewish law, for being a king. Remember, we're talking about Judaism. We're not talking about your common sense. I don't care about your common sense. Your common sense you'll save for making parnasa for your wife. But this is something Lumaila Metamadas, and that's why it's a mitzvah, just like keeping kosher. Obviously keeping kosher might be healthy, but we don't keep kosher because it's healthy. <laughs> we keep kosher first of all because God said so. Then also, besides that, we happen to know that keeping kosher is healthy. This is God's will, especially for a Jew. That's what he has to know. Moving on. Minu Yimelech, how to crown a king. If you live in Israel, you need to vote for King Messiah. the King Messiah. And if you don't know, or you're not sure if your vote is going to go for the King Messiah, it, you know, in Israel there's a law, if your vote it goes and it doesn't count, it goes it can go to the, it gets it swallowed wrong? into the, it may get swallowed into the wrong parties. And so what you're going to do is, you're going to forget about any calculation you had till, to the, till this day. You're going to look at the parties and you're going to learn the Rebbe's Torah. You're going to learn the Rebbe's laws. And you're going to say which party is as close as possible to the Rebbe's ideology. To the Rebbe's opinion. As of 2015, based on our research, when I say our research I mean Hasidic Chabad, which study the Rebbe's word and the Rebbe's word is the final word, Mishachist crew hereby recommends Baruch Marzel for election for the closest thing to the Lubavitcher Rebbe King Mashiach Shlita because he, Baruch Marzel, stands up for Shleim Sa'ars and many other things. Now, moving on, <coughs> if you live in America and you want to establish the King Messiah, King Messiah, because in America the ideology is we the people, the people decide what happens in the government, the people are the willpower of the government. Therefore, you can choose 
to vote for the Lubavitcher of King Mashiach. And the government will have to deal with it later, so to speak. If enough people want the King Mashiach to be the Lubavitcher Rebbe, or at least that the government should be run up according to the ways of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, so then the government will find ways to make that the possibility and that the situation for the people. So, even though, so to speak, the Lubavitcher Rebbe didn't fill out any papers in America, and he did not register to vote, and so to speak, we do not see him in a physical body, but because America is run by the people, if most of the people want the Lubavitcher Rebbe to be president, and he wins the polls, so then he will win the polls. They will figure out a way to translate his work and his ideology into practice. Selbstverständlich, so too applies to other countries. You need to see the political power which is closest to believing in God, to being friendly with the Jews, to, to believing in God, to be friendly with the Jews. Uh, believe in God to be friendly with the Jews to stand up for Shlemo Saaretz for, for peace upon the land for the wholeness of the entire Israel is for Israel very simple so the nation, the Torah, the land all one so you go for a government that encompasses the Rebbe's global look and those governments will be able to push the agenda 